From a pit of bones, the hands of creation form the mind and shape the body in less than a second. A fish with frog's eyes, creation is perfect. The poet nailed to the bone of the world comes in through a door to live until he dies. Whatever happens in between, in the night of the living dead, the poet remains alive. A fish with frog's eyes, creation is perfect. The poet walks on the earth and observes the silent sphinx upon the Nile. The poet knows he must write the truth, even if he is killed for it. For the sphinx cannot be denied. Whenever a man denies it, a man dies. The poet lives in the midst of death and seeks the mystery of life, a stone reality in uh, the realm of symbol, fantasy, and metaphor for reasons that are his own. What is real is the pit of bones he comes from, a fish with frog's eyes. Creation is perfect. Somewhere a Buddha sits in silence and holds the poet and the world in separate hands and realizes he is born to die. The blood of the poet must flow in his poem, so much so that others demand an explanation. The poet answers that the poem is not to be explained. It is what it is. The reality of the poem cannot be denied. A fish with frog's eyes. Creation is perfect. The poet is alone with others like himself. The pain is born into the poet. He must live with it. It is his source of purity, suffering his legacy. The poet has to be a stone. A fish with frog's eyes. Creation is perfect. When the poet protests that death he sees around him the dead who want him silenced, he dies like Lorca did, yet Lorca survives in his poem. Woven into the deeps of life, the poet shocks those around him. He speaks openly of what authority has deemed unspeakable. He becomes the enemy of authority. While the poet lives, authority dies. His poem is forever. When the poet dies, a stone is placed on his grave. It is him, a pit of bones, creation is perfect. In the pit of bones, a sky of stars, a heaven of suns and moons, and the great sun in the center, creation is perfect. A mass created in the pit is the image of the poet. The image of the poet is a secret, a fish with frog's eyes. Creation is perfect. I have walked in this world with a cloak of death wrapped around me. I walked alone. Every kiss was a wound, every smile a threat. One day death removes his cape from around me. I understood what I had lived through. I had no regrets. When the cloak was removed, I was in a pit of bones, a fish with frog's eyes. Creation is perfect. Bob Kaufman, one of the great poets of all times. Uh, in France, he's much better known in America. They call him uh, the Black Rimbaud of America. <laughs>